The art and science of forensics is real, and like its TV counterparts, it is spoken, processed, scanned, and most importantly, it is applied. Is it CSI Miami? No, it is not. However, it is the science of forensics that allows us to capture the bad guy. The bad guys are perpetrators of IEDs, improvised explosive devices. The theater is Afghanistan, and this most restrictive of labs is known as SEXI. SEXI is the Combined Explosive Exploitation Cell. The whole name, the acronym itself, was derived and we kept it. The team is a mixture of military and contractor. Together, they are building a database of latent prints, a scientific tool critical to the fight. Troy Kelly is lab director. We actually utilize the known impression that is collected in the field. We take that known impression and we collect collectively compare it to the latent print that was developed on. Could be a bomb, could be tape, could be anything. Sexy operates 24-7, scrutinizing the tattered remnants of bomb blast, comparing analyzing and digitally capturing thousands of impressions, on average pushing out well over 100 cases a week. These crisp, clear lines are indicators or unique characteristics that allow us to identify another individual to another. That is how we get the bad guys. Here we have According to 37-year-old Kelly, getting these bad guys is the defining difference between sexy and TV. We don't have the cool Humvees and, and the hot ladies everywhere, you know, but we're all here basically to provide that one service, and that's to capture the bad guy to save a life of a warfighter. Gail McCabe, Afghanistan.